I Drive SoCal is brought to you by the very best auto retailers from across Southern California. When it's time for you to buy or even just kick the tires on the idea of buying, just go to idrivesocal.com and click on dealers. idrivesocal.com, click on dealers and get connected. Now, on with the podcast. <laughs> Southern California is the automotive capital of the United States and automotive capital of the world. Sorry, Detroit. Sorry, anybody else that thinks you are. You're not. We are. One of the reasons we deserve that moniker is because of our plethora of world-class museums, automotive museums. We're going to do the top five, starting with five and then moving up to my very favorite car museum. Welcome to I Drive SoCal, the podcast all about mobility from the automotive capital of the United States, Southern California. Tom Smith here with the professor, Mr. Clinton Kwan. Say hello, Clinton. Hi, Tom. Hey, hey, hey. So today's podcast, and thank you for joining us as always, is about, and we, we started to cover, uh, we slid off topic. Um, we did the podcast about the uh the checkered flag malfunction with the supermodel about a week yeah. ago or so. At the and, F1 race. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we started talking about museums and and the, the concept that, that I say as, as we open each podcast, the automotive capital of the United States, Southern California, right? Arguably the automotive capital of the world. And one of the things that you said, Professor, was, yes, it is the automotive capital of the United States and the automotive capital of the world. You did say the world too, right? Yes. Okay. Definitely the world. Yep. Right. So- you heard it from from Tom, the professor. Southern California is the automotive capital of the United States and automotive capital of the world. Sorry, Detroit. Sorry, anybody else that thinks you are. You're not. We are. That said, one of the reasons the professor said that we deserve that moniker is because of our plethora of world-class museums, automotive museums. So with that in mind, we're going to talk about the top automotive museums through the uh, expert analysis and vision of the professor. So take it away, professor. So we're going to do the top five, starting uh, with five and then moving up to my very favorite car museum. Okay. Uh, number five is the Marconi Automotive Museum in Tustin. And okay. This is the only automotive museum in Orange County. Right. It's open Monday through Friday uh, unless uh, there's a special event on the weekend. And there is one open house uh, during the summer uh, where the general public can view the museum uh, on a weekend. And that's coming up very soon. It'll open be, house meaning? It's open to everyone and it's open uh, on a weekend as opposed to a weekday. Oh, okay. Normally, it's only open Monday to Friday. Oh, okay. So this is a so special. one weekend a month. Well, it's no, it's one week, one day for the whole year. What uh, one what? weekend day for the whole year? They're open. Yes, unless All there's right, some right. special event. Okay, gotcha. I think they do a fight night, and there's some other special events. Yeah, and they have private events as well. And they do, they do. Yes. I, I, I interviewed Bo Marconi, um, who's uh, one of the co-founders. Her and her husband founded it. And, um, uh, I know all about fight night. Haven't done a, a piece on that yet. Um, but I didn't know, th I, I didn't know the times, the specifics about, about their, their opening. Yeah. It's generally open to the public Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as I was saying that this open house that's coming up on Sunday, July 22nd, that is, uh, the only day it's just open to everyone, uh, on a, on a weekend. Yeah. And, and the organization is, um, for a good cause, uh, for kids. They're, they're, yeah. Their profits go to, um, uh, children's charities. Yes. So that, that's a fantastic thing. And their fight night, I want to say is in the fall and it, it's a big fundraiser and, and they have one uh, of their biggest events. Yeah. They have, um, MMA. I want to say they've done some boxing there too, yeah. but, but girls, girl, MMA guy, MMA, mm -hmm. um, and, and really high class event. Um, and, and significant, uh, significant ticket price, I believe as well. Uh, but, uh, Hey, it's all for a good cause. Yes. All right. So sorry to jump in. I had a little bit to add there to the Marconi. Um, and, and the cars that you see there are a lot of sports cars and race cars. 
Lambos, Ferraris. Number of Ferraris. Quite a collection of Ferraris yeah. on display at the Marconi Automotive Museum. Yeah. And and Bo Marconi, as well as her husband, um, I believe his name is Dick Marconi. Yes. Uh, some of the cars that they raced themselves personally are are part of the collection. Yes. And they have some they have some neat stuff. So uh, check out the Marconi Automotive Museum in Tustin. Uh, the professor said, when are they open? Open uh, Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday. And uh, it's for a good cause. So definitely check that one out. What do you got for number four? Number four is the Automobile Driving Museum in the South Bay in El Segundo. That museum uh, was originally located in West Los Angeles. And when they outgrew their space, they moved down to the South Bay. Yep. And what's really special and unique about this museum, and that's why it's called the Automobile Driving Museum, is that on Sundays, on any given Sunday, they'll bring out three different cars and you can go for a ride in one of the classic cars. They'll have docents that will take you around uh, the neighborhood. Yep. Yep. And and that's another one that I did a, a podcast. Um, I'm excited because actually I, I think I have most of your top five covered that I've done podcasts with already. Yes. But the Automobile Driving Museum, we've, uh, we've done a podcast with and uh, they have a bunch. They, I mean, the other thing is, their their museum is in a garage whereas any of those cars are driven at any given time so i mean it's in a garage garage whereas the fluids aren't drained i mean you can smell the the fluids you know the gas and oil and whatever so i mean you're you're in a a garage that's yes. also a museum and the cars are are phenomenal, and and it's it's a wide range. It is a wide range of cars. Uh, they uh, specialize mostly in Packards, but they have a, a wide variety of cars, and they're constantly rotating their cars. Uh, if you talk to their docents, uh, they may allow you to sit in some of the vehicles uh, as well. And they have events uh, throughout the year as well and numerous events uh one of my favorite events and the one uh and something that i like to bring my son to uh is the hot wheels garage event which i think they're gonna do monthly again they were doing it monthly and then they went bi-monthly but i think they're going back to doing it monthly and it's extremely popular with the kids and the hot wheels event is basically well they have a whole nother building it's which, a partnership with mattel right because mattel's based correct. right here in, in, in oh it's within walking distance of the museum okay yeah. So they ha actually have another building with real uh, life-size Hot Wheels vehicles. Right. And then they set up these uh, tracks in the outdoor area where kids, if they participate in each activity, then they get a, I believe it's a sticker or they get a stamp and then they get a Hot Wheels. Then they also do this raffle drawing uh, where they get uh, all the Hot Wheel, uh, all the Mattel toys right. donated from Mattel, so they give away some really, really cool prizes. I remember um, one time I I went and I won five prizes. <laughs> All I hope once. you had the associate professor with you and you weren't just winning these prizes for yourself. <laughs> well, I gave them <laughs> to, to Clinton's in his late twenties, mid thirties, winning prizes from the little kids who are seven to eight years old <laughs> in your face, little kid. I stole your prize. <laughs> no, that wasn't the case, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Professor. I want it fair and square. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so that, that is a really cool museum. And, and yes. I mentioned this the last time that we brought that up. I'm surprised you haven't applied to be a docent yet because, <laughs> because they do take applications to be a docent, but it yeah. is a long waiting list from what I heard. Oh, because I, you get I'll, to drive these classic vehicles I that are literally surprised. part of the museum. Yes. Okay. So that was, uh, that was number four, the automobile driving museum. And, and that museum, I, I guess all of them are in kind of interesting places and in, in the Marconi's and down there in Tustin and kind of like a, a industrial type area. Yes. And, and this one is, is really close to LAX really. So we're talking Very about another in, industrial area, but, but industrial area that, that serves LAX. Um, but in an interesting spot, cause it's like you're, you're driving, you're driving and all of a sudden like, Oh, there is a really cool looking museum that I think I want to stop in. Um, so uh, what's next? Unless there's anything else about the Automobile Driving Museum. Uh, I think that's it. And okay. So number three is the Peterson Automotive Museum, which Another is one probably the one uh, that most people are familiar yeah, with. Everybody knows Peterson. Yes. This is the uh, uh, largest car museum in Southern California and probably one of the largest in the U.S. 
and they have um they have a deep i, I mean they're they have a deep collection and i say deep literally because i, I believe they're expanding downward they're, they're, well there is a vault but I, I when when I did the podcast with them many months ago, I, oh, okay. I believe they were, uh, I believe Terry Cargus, I want to say, is the executive director's name, and I believe he was uh, stating that that they're in the process of expanding. I said, yes. where the heck do you expand? There's, you know, you're in L.A. Yeah, expand downward. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, the vault is where they have some, but they have a really they have a really cool collection that they have, um, but but then they have collections that that come and go, yes. like like uh, like art exhibits. And, um, well, you, you, you tell me they're always coming out with, uh, with new exhibits and, th and that's, what's great about this car museum. They have so many events and so many, uh, exhibitions. Yeah. Uh, you'll never get bored of visiting the museum because there's always something new to see. And yeah. There's so many different ex exhibit spaces. It was just about a couple of years ago. They did a complete renovation yeah. of the museum. In fact, they shut down the entire museum for one full year and they were able to complete the renovation on time. Uh, and it is completely different than what it was before. Well, the uh, building itself sticks out like crazy. I mean, you, you, yes. you see that from a few blocks away, like what is that? Well, they wanted to make this place a, um, a destination. Yeah. And, and it is a destination landmark in Los Angeles. Yep. And since Southern California is the automotive capital of the world, right. <laughs> Uh, that was, that was definitely one of the goals. And I think they, they definitely su succeeded, um, in that. And the inside is just, uh, spectacular as well. And they're doing something, uh, you know, the, the Marconi, uh, is funds children's charities. The uh, automobile driving museum has kids programs to get kids or, or they're in the, in, in the process of, of getting the programs going. Um, to get kids working on and, and uh, rehabbing cars. Um, and I know Peterson has some programs such as that or, or in the process of developing um, uh, programs for kids to get kids into the automotive field. Uh, so, you know, lots of, of good things coming of these, of these museums. It's not just, hey, come and look at these beautiful cars. It's, we're, yeah, really creating an ecosystem. There's and an education the component to it as well. Okay, anything else about Peterson? Uh, well, one of the newest exhibits uh, uh, features uh, some uh, incredible Japanese uh, classic cars. Oh, really? Yeah, and I went to that recently, so I highly recommend sh checking that out. You're going to see some uh, Japanese cars that you normally wouldn't see unless maybe you went to the Japanese classic car show. Or some other. Um, How long is that? Japanese. Did, did that take the place of the the one that that was uh, with the lowriders? No, this one is on the second floor. Okay, and it uh, it it's in the same space where the seeing red uh, exhibit, the Ferrari exhibit. Took okay, place. gotcha. Yeah, so that is a beautiful space. All right. All right. So that's the Peterson Automotive Museum. Um, that is. Uh, and that's located, uh, Mer you could call it Miracle Mile Museum. On Wilshire, right? Yes, on Wilshire, Miracle Mile Museum Row, corner of Fairfax and 3rd. So you could say it's it's in the center of L.A., heart of L.A. Okay, so but for the Peterson Museum, there is a, there is a hard ticket cost, right? Correct. Or you could sign up as a member and you'll get complimentary admission uh, throughout the year. Okay. And is membership uh, significant? I would imagine it's significant, but I don't know. Yes, there's varying levels of membership from, I believe, individual all the way to the highest level, which is the checkered flag. Okay. Put your name on stuff. Yeah, and you'll get uh, invitations to exclusive events sure. as a checkered flag of, member. Of course. Okay, so that's the Peterson. What's next? Number two will be uh, the Nethercut collection. Nethercut. Which a lot of people don't know about. Uh, I consider this one of the hidden gems of Los Angeles. I first heard about this museum when I was watching uh, the, the the show California's Gold, the Hill Hauser show, many, many years ago. Okay. And since then, I've, I've visited the museum numerous times. All right. And this is just an incredible collection of cars about, I believe about 200 plus vehicles on display. And I believe they've won 
best of show at Pummel Beach more than any other collector. I was going to say most of their cars are Concorde d'Elegance caliber. Uh, yeah, if not all of their cars are of yeah. that caliber, yeah? Yes. All, I would say almost all of their cars are. Okay. And there's actually two buildings. So in the original bu building, which you would call the collection, you have to make reservations. You can't just go in there and browse the cars by yourself. Hmm. And it's only open, I believe, Thursday and Friday. And they mm -hmm. do one tour on both of those days. And then Saturdays, there's two tours. And the tours, I believe it takes, uh, it'll take about 90 minutes to two hours. But it's definitely- And that's a guided tour. Somebody's- It is a guided tour. And let's see, there's the basement, which that's where you meet when you go on the tour. Mm -hmm. Then you go up to the Grand Salon, which is just, um, that's probably the most impressive part of the tour. Okay. Where you've got these marble columns and uh, marble ceilings, 15 feet high, marble floors. So the museum itself is in an architectural masterpiece is what it yeah. sounds like. Um, and you wouldn't know because this is in Silmar and from the outside. But when you go inside, it is just, it, it really is stunning. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's on my to-do list. I haven't done it yet. And then you go up to the mezzanine and you get this beautiful view of all the cars on, on the Grand Salon. Then you walk up the spiral staircase and they have these musical instruments that they demonstrate as well. So it's not just cars. They also have, they have furniture, musical instruments on display. Come check out the super, super, super high life. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and then you go across the street and that's the newer museum. All and right. that one is, um, that one is a self-guided tour. Okay. Yes. All right. So that's the nether cut. And uh, I th and for I those of you who don't know where Silmar is, that, it, that that's located in the San Fernando Valley on the northeastern side of the valley. Okay. And what do we have for number one? Number one is the Mullen Automotive Museum All in right. Oxnard, which is in Ventura County. Okay. And that's my very favorite museum. This museum is only open two days a month to the general public. Uh, they do have other uh, special showings, which I think if you're willing to pay double the price, then you can go <laughs> on, a, on a weekday. Uh, all of the cars in this museum are French automobiles. So most okay. people don't know m much about French automobiles. Fuego. Uh, French, right? Well, when you, it's, the only, it's the only French manufacturer I can even think of. Well, Bugatti is Bugatti's actually French. Got, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. I would have guessed of, Italian. Yeah, you would think Italian, but it's actually French. Is Puego even And there's, French? there's a huge um, display of Bugattis on the second level okay. of the museum. And this museum is in the former space of Otis Chandler's museum. For those who still remember that museum, he was one of the publishers for the Los Angeles Times. And when he oh. passed away, they auctioned off his cars and they took over the space and uh, did a, a, a complete renovation of the space. And it is beautiful as well. I right. love the way the cars are laid out in this museum because in a lot of museums there's you, there's a lot of times there's not enough space for the cars where uh -huh. you can really enjoy and appreciate the cars and walk right. around and take really nice photos. The cars here, they're really, really sp spread out. Okay. So you can really enjoy and appreciate the cars and these are some of the finest cars in the world and you'll see them at a number of car shows. They bring them out for events such as um, the San Marino Motor Classic. So, but again, all Concorde Elegance level vehicles. Uh, yes, absolutely. So just one stunning. more valuable than the other. Yes, stunning right. collection of cars. Okay, fantastic. Well, there are a lot more automotive museums and hotspots and whatnot, but we wanted to identify the top five as part of our ongoing podcast, of course, but, but, the the conversation of i guess the justification of southern california being the automotive capital of the united states automotive capital of the world um our awesome museums are are definitely a factor in that statement so uh as always professor thank you so much anything else to add about these museums or perhaps others we want to save others for for another talk well i would recommend uh checking out the websites for the museums sure. because there's always a lot of special events that take that takes place at these yep. museums so you might want to go when they have a special event so you'll good get point to check out something else and with the mullen automotive museum 
I do highly recommend making reservations in advance because it is only open twice a month. Um, you, you might be able to just go there and walk into the museum, but it's best to reserve tickets online. Good point, Professor. Good point. What we're going to do is on this post, everybody, if you want to just go to idrivesocal.com and go to this post, um, we will include uh, links to all the, the museums that we just covered. Um, or you can just Google them. They're, mm. they're out there. Yes. But all right. Fantastic. Professor, thank you so much. As always, always a pleasure talking all things automotive with you, my friend. And for iDrive SoCal, I'm Tom Smith. Thank you very much for listening. Hey there. Still wanting more iDrive SoCal content? Just go to iDriveSoCal.com. From there, you can subscribe to our podcast and newsletter. And you can connect with one of our awesome car dealer partners to get yourself a sweet new high-tech wonder on wheels. And oh yeah, we always want to hear from you. So please connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. Or if you're not a big social media-ite, you can email us suggestions for stories, people, places, or events you think we should cover. Here's the address, media at idrivesocal.com. That's media, M-E-D-I-A, at the letter I, drive, D-R-I-V-E, socal, S-O-C-A-L, dot com. Media at idrivesocal.com. Thanks again for listening and definitely reach out with whatever's on your mind.